The following segment is sponsored by Griffles. We have told you before, but we will say it again, there is a desperate need for plasma donations. Velasta from Griffles is here to tell us about this ongoing emergency. Hey, Velasta. Hi, how are you doing? We are doing so well, and we are so glad to have you here because this is such an important issue. Would you please update us about the ongoing plasma donation emergency? This is still a thing, right? Yes, unfortunately it still is. We continue to need plasma donors coming in and donating their plasma to help save lives. Now tell me about the donation process. Is this going to be easy for people to come on in? Yeah, so when people come in, it's a process that people do a thousand times a day. It's easy. It's a time to relax. Um, you'll come in, you'll get a health screening, and then we'll do the process of where we separate the red blood cells from your plasma. Your plasma is then uh, collected, and you have, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour. 45 minutes to an hour. You can do this on your lunch break. Now, there's many people out there, my hands raised right now, a little nervous about needles, but there's nothing to worry about. This is basically painless, right? Absolutely. It's very painless. Uh, plasma, the reason plasma is so important is it contains proteins and antibodies that help our bodies function. So that is why it's so critical for people to come in and donate because we need to have those proteins and antibodies to make medicines that treat people with rare and chronic conditions. So it's such an easy painless way to help make a difference. Well, and it's so crucial and you need a lot of plasma. How many donations are actually needed to treat just one patient for a year? It takes anywhere from 130 to 1,200 donations just to make enough medicine for one year. So that's why every single donor is so important. Every single donor is making a difference. This is big. We all need to be stepping up for everyone else in our community. How often can people donate? Uh, people can donate up to twice a week with a full day in between. So it's an opportunity to give back more. And this is because we're returning the red blood cells and your body quickly regenerates the plasma that we keep. So it's as long as you're well hydrated and eat a healthy meal, you should have no reactions. And it's something to, to do a couple times a week if you'd like. Well, and doing this good deed is, is enough payment in itself, but there's also a little compensation that comes with it, right? Yes, because of the fact that it takes a little bit more longer than whole blood donation, and we're asking you to come in a couple times a week if you can, uh, the time, the effort, that commitment is everything uh, as a way of, for us to say thank you is why we provide a small compensation. And you touched on this a little bit. Do we need to do anything to prepare other than just being hydrated? Uh, eat a healthy meal and be well rested which you should be doing anyways, even though it's sometimes it is a struggle, but we should be doing it. And I know a lot of people exactly, are, exactly. are concerned about the Delta variant as well, but there's no need to be concerned about that because you guys are following all of the safety protocols, correct? Ex absolutely. We have updated all of our HVAC systems. We have installed plexiglass between donors are doing physical distancing. We're requiring that everybody still wears the masks uh, or face covering when in the centers. And we also are taking temperature and vital signs um, at every donation to help ensure that everyone's healthy. It's safe, it's easy, it's pain-free, and you're saving lives. There, I don't see a downside to this, Velasta. Where can viewers go for more information if they want to help? Uh, they can visit grifflesplasma.com where we have all the information around all of our COVID precautions as well as how plasma is used to help save lives. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Blasta. Thank you for having me.